why 360 photos today for the construction industry, right? Because it's been there for a long time. There are a lot of people using it. But why today? Why do you think that today, uh, you know, 360 photos and the virtual tours make a lot of sense? Yeah, uh, they've, they've been using uh, photo documentation for construction for yes. ages. Um, and they've also developed apps uh, that allows them to use their phones for photo documentation. So, so it's very common to, to do the practice of taking a photo and then, uh, you know, writing your comments or, or writing something about that situation in, in a construction site. Yeah. Uh, the game changer really is the, it's not the, the 360 format. It's the 360 one click camera. So you can basically capture the entire sphere with one click. Uh, before, if you want to capture the entire sphere, you had to have at least uh, six images. So one in the front, to the right, to the left, at the top, to the bottom, and to the back. So that, of course, takes time. Yeah. Uh, and also a lot of post-processing. So, so it, it really wasn't an, an option unless you wanted the the feel of walking the space as for, for documenting purposes and um, efficiency uh, the one click camera really changed everything um, so yeah that's that's the the main driver here and i think it's the it's the um, it's one of the factors that hasn't really kicked in yet because now we're in a situation where you could do um, a lot better documentation, at least visually, because you can photograph everything. Uh, even though that has been technically possible before, it has never been uh, practically possible. So basically, what you're saying is that it is far more. I mean, construction, unlike you know real estate or you know your shop or something like that, needs a high volume of 360 photos and the you know, the advent of 360 cameras makes it super easy to take thousands and thousands of 360 photos uh, quickly without too much of, uh, what do you call it, manual intervention, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, regarding uh, 360 images as photo documentation, like proof of work, um, you have this uh, insane new uh, effective way of capturing an entire space so let's say a space is a room maybe you just need one image to capture the room and to visually see everything inside that room before you, you need to take a bunch of pictures so uh, the benefit here is the it's the decreasing of time spent on site photo documenting mm. so that's one one benefit here okay. um, so you could you could say that uh, you could photo document a site quicker quicker yeah but what most people do is they use the same amount of time and they instead of, of capturing like one room or the the things that they know they have to capture they capture everything and they do that almost like every week and then you have uh, a lot of new benefits that happen because now you have a digital copy of the entire site every week so if something breaks you can go back in time and see if you should have detected that uh, before the idea you could you could either uh, withdraw the effect in time uh, because now you you, right. you can spend less t less time getting the same image information or you could choose to use the effect to get more image information and spend the the, the same amount of time as you as you used to do so so that uh, I guess that depends on the priorities, but we, we see that in the construction industry they they spend the same amount of time, but they get end up with a lot better uh, product regarding photo documentation. If you look at uh, virtual tours of construction sites versus 
the current standard, which is a lot of folders with with uh, a normal images. It's it's a completely different uh, ball game. Interesting. So you're saying like the 360 photos completely changes the way they even like look at a construction site and and you know how things have changed there. And so, yeah, that's interesting. I never thought about that. Um, 